Valentine today. Yay or nay, I don't know. Um, and because of Valentine's Day, I thought I'd do something I've been planning to do for a while, which was um, rank my top favourite fictional couples from series. And um, they're all from series I've reviewed, so if you want to find out more about the couple, just type in the name of the series into my channel and you'll find the review. Um, so it's all based on series like paranormal or urban fantasy or whatever genre you want to call it and there's a couple in there just from normal fiction um so like for people who don't have a valentine this is kind of depressing talking about all these amazing couples but i thought it would be good to do and um so i have my list here um i just chose my i didn't do every single series um but i did most of them so i have 37 couples on the list and this was really hard to do, um, particularly I suppose the top 20 or the top 10. But anyway, I'm doing the top 10 today. And if you kind of, if you like the, the video and you want me to, you know, talk with the other couples in the list, like 11 to 20 and so on, let me know because I'd be happy to do it if you want to see it. Okay, so starting with couple number 10. It, it's a couple from the Downside Go series and it's Chase and Terrible. So these two, like they didn't start out straight away as a couple, they started out as friends and then they kind of went into being enemies a little bit. Well, he was he basically kind of hated her for a while. And then finally at the end of the third book, they became a couple. And the fourth book now, which is out in March, I'm so excited for it because I can't wait to read about them as a couple, but they're so just like like fascinating and amazing to read about because he cares about her so much but he's just he's this really kind of stoic guy who isn't used to showing his feelings at all and I mean Chase she's one of the most flawed characters ever um but together they just have this amazing chemistry and relationship and I just loved them in this series and um I can't wait to see where it goes with their relationship okay couple number nine is Mia and Adam from the If I Stay series. So this is normal fiction and there's only two books in it, so If I Stay and Where She Went. And Mia and Adam are just so loving and they go through some heartbreak in each book. Like the first book is from Mia's point of view and the second book is from Adam's point of view. Um, but even through all that heartbreak they still find each other in the end. And the author is amazing at writing about the true emotions and feelings, you know, going through these people and going through this couple. And you just, oh, you, just, you have to love them really. And they deserve to be happy after what all they go through. Um, but yeah, I really, I really love these two as well. Couple number eight is from a series called Ali Beckstrom series. And it is Ali and Zavian. Or Zay. Seven books, yeah, seven books in the series and the eighth one's coming out in April. I'm very excited for that. But Ali and Xavion, they were kind of together from the first book. And they have it they split up a little bit during the second, but they just are so loving and sweet and they just get along so well. Like they have this funny banter between them, but they're like this like loving sexy couple as well at the same time and i just love their relationship and Zavion, he's a really strong character but um he becomes a really really sweet guy when it comes to uh ali and yeah i just love them as a couple together and they make the books even more exciting um yeah the ali beckstrom series is a really good series and they just kind of make it even better okay so couple number seven from the Shifter series and um, it is Faith and Mark. Now there was a big love triangle towards the end of the series between Faith, Mark and Jace. And Faith and Jace are in the list somewhere but I, I kind of preferred Faith and Mark as like the epic couple. Um, they do go through some kind of bumps <laughs> on their relationship. They're there's like a big backstory before the first book even begins where they're together as teenagers and eventually by the end of the first book they're together but then obviously there's troubles throughout 
the series for them as a couple but I just loved Mark's like oh my god love and devotion to Faith and he was so protective but like really sweet too and they were just funny together and I was just I wish the series went on an extra book so we could see them as a proper couple and get married and have kids and you kind of want to read about all that with them because they're so likeable and um, they're not perfect no way but they're likeable and um, I really enjoyed reading about them okay so couple number six okay five and six I wasn't even sure which way to put but they're both from the other world series so couple number six is Paige and Lucas from the other world series and um, I just love them as a couple. I know some people out there aren't mad about them, um, but I love Paige. Paige is one of my favourite characters in the Other World series, and her and Lucas are really great together. Um, I don't know why, I can't even put my finger on it. Like, they just gel really well, and they get along, and they're just a really nice, nice couple. Um, I wish we got to read a bit more more about them as a couple in the other world series. Um, but yeah, I just can't put my finger on it, but I just really like them as a couple. Okay, so couple number five, also from the other world series, is Clay and Elena. Now these two are an epic kind of couple. They they go through a lot. Like um, Elena and Clay when they first got together years ago um like he turned her into a werewolf so there's a lot of issues there and it took her 10 years to realize she really does love him and wants to be with him and then from there on they're just amazing like clay he's such a funny character because he's like no social skills he doesn't want to interact with other humans and um he's just he has this very strict outlook on what's necessary in life and but then when it comes to Elena, he would literally do anything, like she is his world and um, so they have this kind of like cuteness and this sexiness and this funniness to them as a couple and then reading as they got closer, I loved the book where she was pregnant and just to see how their relationship was even stronger and sweeter and then with the kids it's just great and um, like it's one of the few couples where you get to see them go through the normal couple thing like you know, have children, raise them, be together, and um, yeah, I just loved them. They're kind of a supernatural couple, but like a normal, proper couple then at the same time, and I really, really enjoyed reading about them. So, couple number four is from a series I don't think a lot of people heard of or liked or something, because not a lot of people <laughs> watched the review on it, but it's from the Megan Chase series. And it's from the same author as um, my number 10, 10 couple down St. Go series. But um, it's Megan and Grayson. Um, I don't know what it is. I just loved them too. Because they started out in the there's three books. So they started out in the first book as kind of like this. These two people just kind of having fun. Nothing really serious. And they liked each other obviously. But you know. Megan wasn't expecting anything major out of it, but as the books develop then you see them getting closer and more loving and then by the third book when something happens and they need to break up for a little while, Grayson, which usually we see as this really suave character, is a wreck and devastated beyond, but it just shows how much like they really meant to each other and this couple too, like even though there's like demons and everything involved, um, they just seem like a really nice normal couple as well and I, I really really want another book to this series just to see them because they got engaged at the very end and just to see them you know married and having kids and all that nice normal stuff and and they're just so likeable and loving and I just really enjoy reading them too. Okay we're into the top three now okay uh, my top, my third favourite couple is from the Cassandra Palmer series and um, out of all the top ten, yeah, these two aren't even together yet but it just shows how much you, I, I'm invested in this couple and they're not even together yet, five books in. Um, they had some kisses and maybe more than kisses but it was all kind of like 
in the heat of the moment or because it was necessary to heal him or something like that. But Cassie and Pritkin, yes, Cassie and Pritkin, I just love. It's just something I can't put my finger on. And if you go on to the Facebook page of the author, the majority of people are Team Pritkin. She's with another character in the book, which is like, oh, will she ever get rid of him? I'm so invested in them. It's like a twosome now. They're just so likeable because he started out hating Cassie Pritkin and... Um, then by the second book you got to see a little, little bit of a kind of affection for her and then by the third book you knew he was like cared about her but he doesn't show it very often he only shows it in these like major life or death situations and you know Cassie as well feels a little something for him and there's just that sweet concern and affection for each other and they're much more interesting and compelling than her and this other guy in the series market um, but, and like they're funny together and um, yes, they're lovely, and I just really, really wanted to get together. Okay, so it was hard now with my one and two couples. I think then I just went with the couple I think about more. So uh, my top two, or my second favourite couple in all the series, is from the Morgan and Vampire series. It is Shane and Claire. Now, anyone who reads *Mark of the Vampires* cannot love, can't not love, um, Shane and Claire. They're just so likable, and they're sweet and they're funny, and I loved reading about how they got closer and closer throughout the series. So there's about ten, eleven books in the series so far, and they get together kind of towards the end of the first book. So they're together a long time, but at the beginning again it wasn't too serious, but because they're in all these really, really serious life or death situations, like I suppose that all emotion just made them even closer and um oh they're just amazing to read about. I love Shane. Shane is so, like <laughs> I wish I had a boyfriend like Shane. He's just amazing and him and Claire they just they gel really well and she's just you know a good character as well and um they got engaged in the, the last book I read and um, they're just so nice and I hope nothing ever ever splits them up and I cannot wait for the next Marvel book and I just always look forward to them and the Shane and Claire relationship is a big part of that for me so they are a really really good couple okay couple number one very exciting um this couple you know, when you're like daydreaming, you're thinking back on a book, I think about this couple more than any other series. Um, they always manage to get into my head, and I just think they're the most amazing couple ever. Um, they make me jealous. But it's from the um, Kate Daniel series, and it is Kate and Curran. They are just so, like, amazing. Um, Kate is probably one of my favourite protagonists and Curran, like individually as themselves, Curran is probably one of my favourite sort of male leads or heroes or whatever you want to call them and together they're just even better. Um, I'm so glad when I read the series first I had the first three books to read, I don't have to wait because they don't get together straight away and that's the good thing. It took a while for them to develop and I, I, I always love the relationships, you know, they start out kind of like not hating each other but like antagonising each other and fighting a lot and they gradually got close like like without them even wanting to almost and caring about the other person but always always fighting at the same time I just I'm crazy about them I cannot wait for the next book I love to see them I don't know if they'll get married or they don't need to cause in, in current eyes they practically are married because she's his mate but them to even like have kids or something it would just be so nice and um yeah i'm just crazy about them as a couple they're just funny and um like Curran sounds like a really <laughs> nice male character and um the authors did an amazing job developing developing them they're almost perfect like they didn't get together too soon or too late and um, like these two really like hard, harsh type characters, when they're together they just melt and they're all like emotional and lovey-dovey and really really nice. 
but they don't lose themselves either they're still that, those funny strong characters as well and um yeah i just love them you should just check out the series just for them um so they're my top 10 couples um when you love um the male lead or female lead just like those but anyway that's that if you would like to learn about more about those couples just you know search for the series in my channel and um there probably was a few spoilers in there anyway but they're all really great couples and if you would as i said if you would like me to talk more about the other 27 just um send me a message or comment or whatever and uh, thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a nice valentine's day